Good morning, this is a solution video to problem B of the 2021 Facebook Hacker Cup qualification round. This problem is called X's and O's, and in it we're given an n by n grid, which has some X's and some O's, and then some empty squares. And the goal is we're having a two-player game in which you're playing as X and then your opponent is playing as O. Uh, the goal is to fill in either some row or some column, all with uh, either X's or O's, and you're guaranteed that when the problem starts, neither player has won yet. So there's no column that's totally filled in. Um, you want to make some moves when your opponent looks away, and you want to fill in as few X's as possible so that you've instantly won the game as soon as your opponent turns back and looks back at you. And the question is, what's the fewest number of X's you need to place? And then also, how many ways are there of placing these X's, where two ways are considered different, if in one of the ways you draw an X on one square and the other way you don't. So um, in this first example, since diagonals don't count, you can only win in rows and columns. The best way of doing it is you can place two X's, for instance, here and here, and that will fill out the first column. Uh, that's one way of solving the problem. You can also solve it by filling out two X's in this column as well. And that's another way of winning. So in this case, two X's are required and there are two ways of solving it. Um, in the example on the right, you might think, well, there are clearly two ways of solving it with just one x. You can do the third row, or you can do the second column. Um, but really, both of these are the same way, because in both ways, you just place the one x. So there's only one set of winning positions uh, that does this minimally in just one move. So in this case, um, the answer is one one, because it takes just one x, and there's just one, one set of x's that does that. So this isn't too difficult of a problem, but you do need to come up with a good way of handling the special case that sometimes two different winning definitions can happen from the same way. So if you look in the second example, we have two different winning definitions. We'll call a definition either winning in some row or some column. We have two different winning definitions, but both happen in the same way and we don't want to overcount. Um, we can handle this by noticing that in all cases except this particular type of case, we place at least two x's. We're going to place all of our x's either within some row or within some column. And if we're placing at least two of them, that will tell us whether we're going to win vertically or winning horizontally. We would never want to place, if we're going to win vertically, we would never want to place one x in one column and one x in another column. We want to place all of our x's in the column that we win. So we know that if we're going to place these all in some column in order to place at least two, we can definitely tell that this placement is only going to be for this win, so we won't overcount it all. Um, the same thing will happen if we place in a row. Now the one time in which it might overcount is if we're only placing one x, because then it isn't obvious if we're placing this x whether we're trying to win in this column or in this row. So a clean way of implementing this is we can say for each row and for each column, we want to check if there are any O's in that row or column. If there are, we obviously can't win uh, using that row, for instance, because we'll be blocked. Um, but if we're not blocked, then we can place X's in the entire row uh, equal to the number of dots in that row. So we can keep track of, for each row and column, are there any dots and are there any O's? Um, if there are dots, how many, how many dots are there? Uh, then we can check for each row in each column, what's the fewest number of dots that we would need, uh, or what's the fewest number of x's we would need to place in order to win for that row or column. Uh, it's possible that we can't win because there's an O in every row and every column. Uh, it's not too difficult to come up with a case in which that's true. I think it's certainly given in samples at least. So we want a special case that we can watch out for that. Um, but yeah, other than that, we can now calculate what the minimum answer is. If the minimum answer is one, what we can do is just say, for which squares could we place one, one x and then end up winning the game? And if the minimum answer isn't one, then it's just, well, how many rows and columns have that as the candidate answer? So that's the solution to problem B. If you're interested in the source code in my implementation, you can check out the description of this video for a Java implementation, um, or also you can check out the editorial and the model solution, which will be in C++. Thanks for watching, and if you're able to solve this problem, you'll qualify for round one of Facebook Hacker Cup. So hopefully I'll see you on the scoreboard there.